Now to this, parents and students at a local high school are shaken tonight after a reported kill list goes out. The letter has a list of student names with threats of violence, harm, and even rape. Now parents at Mira Loma High School in Sacramento say they're not happy with the school's response. CBS 13's Kelly Ryan is live on the campus with the latest. Kelly? The list was found on campus by a student who then turned it in. Now, the parents of those students on the list were notified by the district, but according to at least one parent, they're not too happy with their response. Parent Julie McReynolds received an unsettling call from the vice principal of Mira Loma High School Tuesday morning concerning her son, who's a freshman there. She said, um, There's been a list that was found at school. And your son is one of 14 people on the list. It's a kill list. A list she later learned threatened the students with violence and rape. You know, I was shocked. I just, I felt like I couldn't breathe. The vice principal told her after an investigation with authorities, the list was found to be a prank. To me, it's not a prank. You know, it's it's very serious with all in light of all the school shootings that have that have happened. She asked to know the student's name, but the district said it couldn't give that information out. The district released a statement saying the threat was deemed non credible and the student was found to have no intent or developed capacity to cause actual harm. The student is receiving appropriate disciplinary action and the families of all students identified on the list have been notified. McReynolds has learned the student responsible was suspended for five days. Not enough, she says. She also faults the district for not meeting with parents personally or offering students counseling. I don't know how to reassure my son that it's okay to go back to school because I can't tell him who to watch out for. And I can't tell him that it's not going to happen because his name is on a list. With just two weeks left to the school year, McReynolds says she may take her son out early. The district says if anyone needs further assistance in this matter, they should contact them directly. Troubling to say the least. All right, Kelly Ryan, live for us tonight. Thanks. We received this story from a viewer tip. If you have a story idea, let us know. You can use Twitter, Facebook, or send us an email to news at cbs13.com.